turn my back on everything I've known. Ron, isn't it enough that we love each other? No, Carrie. It isn't. Somebody in this family's got to think straight. And you don't think I can? I think all you see is a good-looking set of muscles. Why, Ned. All right, maybe I'm a snob. But it isn't just a question of whether he's a gardener. Now, say he's younger than you are. And the fact that you're a widow. What has that got to do with it? With money. Their lives were worlds apart. Carrie's world was bound by the country club set their smug pretensions and their spiteful gossip. Never too late, huh, Gary? Line forms to the right. Howard, what are you doing? I married up for you. Maybe you'd better stay right where you are. Ron's world was boundless. The great outdoors, the things that grow, and real people who give and take all that heaven allows of love and happiness. Carrie, let's face it. You were ready for a love affair, but not for love. God knows I love you. But I won't let Ned, nor Kane, or anyone else run our lives, Carrie. Don't you see we'd never be happy if we did? I can see that you don't want to listen to anybody's ideas but your own. And I can see that you're trying to make me choose between you and the children. 